Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo of a block based theme called 2021 blocks. So what are block based themes? So block based theme conceptually is just an interaction of HTML structure content blocks and some styles. So let's begin. So TT1 blocks theme is available on WordPress org. So you can go ahead and download it and activate it. So I have already done that. So as you can see, I've activated the TT1 blocks theme. Uh, and what you also need to do is you need to install the latest version of Gutenberg. At the time of recording, I'm using the latest version of Gutenberg, which is 10.0. And the next thing you do is you go to Gutenberg and experiments and then you click on enable navigation screen and save changes and then if you go to site editor so as you can see that the entire page template is built using blocks you have the header template as you can see on the top it says header and on the right hand side it says template part so this is a template part header and this contains your site title block so this is your site title block which is a dynamic block it uses your site title and then this is your style tagline. Then you also have got the navigation blocks on the right hand side. You see you've got navigation and this contains your menus. Uh, so you've got your pages, links. You can also add a new one if you want. You can select a link or a page list or a post link over here. And then you've got your query block. So this block basically is showing the list of posts and you can change between the view of this these posts as well. So you see you have got an option here. And on the right hand side it says query block. You have some of the settings available as well. For example, inherit query from URL. If you want to include or exclude sticky post or sticky post only. So you've got many options available there. And then you've got your post title. You can click on this. You can also make title a link. So by default, the title will be a link to that particular post. You can also change this to open link in a new tab, right? And then you've got some meta information like the post published date, your author name, your category, if it has any tags, etc. Uh, one of the cool features also available is your query pagination block. So if you go over here, you see that You've got query pagination block, and this also contains your query pagination previous and query pagination next. And then you've got your uh, pagination numbers here. And then you've got the footer. So you can see that on top it says footer template, right? So this is a block template. It contains your uh, some of the information on the left some paragraph and you've got social links. So these are all editable. So you can click over here and you can edit it. So these are all editable, right? Uh, so that's your footer. And, and you can also add a featured image here. So if you can click over here, uh, you can look for featured post featured image, click on that. There you go. It automatically inserts the featured image for that particular post and it inserts it for all of them. So you can see that it automatically inserted the featured image for each of these posts. And now if you go on to the front end, we can update the design for sure. So let's update the design. Now you can see that you're currently uh, editing the index template. If you cl click on save, and then if you go back to dashboard, and then if you go back to the front end, you can see that you've got your header, you've got your footer here, uh, and then you've got all of these posts being listed, right? So you've got all of these posts and you can click on any of these posts. It takes you to that single post page. And then down at the bottom, you have the pagination. So you click on this, look at in the URL, it takes you to the page number two. And you also have the previous page. You also have the previous and next page links. Uh, so you can click on previous page. It takes you back to the first page. Okay. Now you've got different templates available. So if you click on this, you can click on browse template and you can see you've got pages template. You've got page home page, and then you can check the post templates. You've got a single post template. 
you can edit any of these you also have the 404 so if you click on 404 you can see that you've got your 404 page template which you can edit this is the search block uh, this is just a normal paragraph right and then you also have the template parts. So, so currently uh, we have header and footer template parts. You can also create a new one if you want, but the theme by default comes with header and footer blocks. You can click on that. So this is your footer. Then you click, click on header. You, you're currently editing the header template parts. Now, if you go back to the index template, uh, you'll notice that you have these three lines, which is outline. If you click on that, you have an option to navigate between each of the blocks. So you can see you're currently on the header. Right. You can go on to, let's say, query blocks, and now the query block is selected. Right. You can go on to query pagination, so now query pagination is selected. So you also have the navigation option available on top. Besides this, we also have the block patterns available. So if you click over here, and if you click on the patterns tab, you'll see you've got these patterns available. So you've got the large text, links area, you've got media and text, article title. Let's go with this one overlapping images so you can see that this has got some of the options you can change the alignment full width wide width you can align top middle all of that option is available here um, so this is the pattern and if you click on update design and then if you go back to the front end you can see that you've got these patterns uh, option available as well of course you can edit it now besides patterns you also have an option of global styles which are basically going to be applied globally so if you click on these three dots and then if you come over here and click on global styles, right, you'll have some of the options. For example, you can change the font family and you have these options available. Let's say system font or this one, right? So it's changed. You can go for this one if you want. You can change the font sizes. So I can change the line height of the elements. I can change the background color. Let's say if I want to go for this one and then I choose the text as the white one. I can go for that. Uh, so I have got uh, different options available in terms of adding the um, global styles. And if I click on update design, and if I go back onto the front end, refresh, you can see that it's been applied globally to my entire site, which is really amazing. It basically gives you that flexibility. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Syed. And my Twitter handle is Goritech. And in the next video, we are going to start learning how to build a block-based theme yourself. So if you want to build a block-based theme yourself, how do we actually do that? You'll also observe that even if you're not too technical and if you just have basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, you will still be able to build a blog based theme. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.